I am Bradley Forbes. I am the general manager of KFC Bayabab, a franchise group in South Africa. Hi team, my name is Ricky Brown. I am currently the general manager of a KFC franchisee based in Namibia. Our business is spread across five different countries. That's in South Africa, Lesotho, Botswana, Cote d'Ivoire, and now most recently Namibia. We have close to 70 restaurants. When our team first started using Zenput, we, we thought that it was going to be used for a, a very specific purpose. What we've learned over time in collaboration with the Zenput team is that it can be used across many different areas of the business. We now use it in HR, we use it in training, we're starting to use it in finance, we use it as an asset register. Um, we're finding that it, it is a really adaptable tool. Our HR managers use it when they conduct store visits now. We have 14 restaurants in South Africa, which consists of three areas. Uh, each area coach oversees a couple of restaurants in their area and the span between the furthest restaurants is five hours. In May this year, our country was plunged into a national lockdown for five weeks. At the end of these five weeks, we were informed that we could trade only for delivery. This was quite a, quite a dilemma for us as our business had never done deliveries in our franchise group. Within a couple of hours and days, we were managed to put together a system to do deliveries and one of the key systems we included was Zenput. Uh, one of the clever ways we used Zenput was to both track the order from the time that it came into our call center and uh, it was loaded onto Zenput as a task to the time the driver picked up the order, took a photo of the uh, KFC in the restaurant ready and prepared to the time he delivers to the customer and submits the form. This allowed us to track the time, the total time that the order took from being placed by the customer to being delivered to the door. We use Zenput to conduct all of our food safety checklists. It is really our, our operating system that we use in our franchise group. Our management teams conduct food safety checklists three times a day and are prompted by Zenput with various different questions. Depending on the question, often the manager will be expected to take a photo, which is verification of the food safety standard. And this is important for us in case there was ever issues where we needed to go back and check whether food safety was adhered to or not. We're also using it for our occupational health and safety checklists, which are, are, are legislated in, in most of the countries we operate in. And it's great because we will always have a record of that. Even if somehow the paperwork is destroyed, it's, there's always evidence on the cloud that we have complied with occupational health and safety legislation. So it protects us and it protects our business. So Zenput allows us to be a lot more agile when we're trying to react to a new situation and allows us to be proactive rather than reactive. So this is very different from in the past where we'd have to try and roll something out in the paper format and we'd need to visit each restaurant and go and explain the form to each person, which obviously took a lot of time. I had an experience just recently where, where in my current market, we've only been here for two weeks and the team are still using the old paper format for our figure eight walkthroughs. We got the alert that a freezer and a cooler had gone down in a particular restaurant and because I'm new in the market, I decided to go and investigate the issue with our operations manager. When we arrived at the store, it, it was actually correct that the freezer and the cooler had gone down. And when we investigated the product inside the freezer, the product had thawed. So I decided to go and investigate the figure eight checklist to try and ascertain when exactly the, the issue had been identified. And it was actually quite shocking to see that the issue had been identified by the shift supervisors for three weeks in a row. Unfortunately, what had happened is there had been no communication between the shift supervisor and the RGM or the RGM and the area coach. So the issue was never brought to the surface. And what that basically meant was that we had to damage all that stock because it was now a food safety issue. Had we been using Zenput, the issue would have been flagged on the figure eight form which we use for Zenput and an alert would have been instantly sent through to the area manager and the operations manager. The task would have then been set to the RGM to rectify the issue. They would have been given a certain amount of time to, to correct the deviation. And if they hadn't corrected the deviation, the area manager would have been alerted again and then would have been able to intercede. So this is a real life example of where we use input in our other markets and the benefit that it adds there versus what it used to be like when you use the paper format for the figure eight. It was very difficult to alert the correct people and as I saw to yesterday or the day before, it was very difficult to alert the right people that a serious deviation had occurred. And that's why we love using Zenput in our business because as you submit the form, a trigger is sent to the right people to alert them that a serious deviation has occurred and immediate action can then be taken. It becomes difficult to tangibly explain it, um, but as, a, as an experienced operator, I, I can tell that it, it definitely adds value. It gives great insight into the business, real-time insight, especially when you've got remote locations. I can be based in our head office 
and a, a, a site that could take me three to four hours to get to, I can have real-time insight into what's happening in that restaurant right now as a, as a form is submitted by that store. Zempot has had a massive impact on our business since we introduced it in 2017.